Let's talk today about attitude. I've been reading business success books for decades. For all the components that could be mentioned as the single greatest contributor to individual success, having a great attitude is predominantly singled out as the primary factor to help someone achieve the pinnacle of success. Surprised? Me too. I thought it might be determination, commitment, high energy, action, integrity, or resilience. But what is the best definition of success? It is not necessarily the individual with the best income, a high-profile job, or world champion titles, which is precisely what I thought when I graduated from college. Webster says attitude is an inner belief that influences your actions. The superior definition includes a person who is doing the absolute best with the skill sets they've been given. They are living with a purpose and continuing to grow. I love this quote from Chuck Swindoll about attitude. He says, attitude is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than success, than what other people say and do. It's more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It can make or break an individual or a company or a nonprofit. The remarkable thing is that we have a choice every day concerning the attitude we will embrace. We cannot change the past. We cannot change the fact that people will behave in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so it is. We are in charge of our attitudes. If we ask a thousand people to define success in 10 words or less, we would probably get at least 500 individual definitions. Now, for the sake of simplicity and time constraints, let's divide that concept into two categories. Let's define toxic as negative, a can't-be-done attitude, cutting, mean-spirited, arrogant, egotistical, disruptive, low energy, and with zero enthusiasm. They are all the physical attributes that go along with a toxic attitude. However, positive is someone who has a smile on their face. They are friendly. They are accepting. It, they have a can-do perspective. They are energetic, creative, mature. They accept responsibility and deliver with integrity. Now, the good news is that we can all change an attitude change is all about replacing negatives with positive attributes. If you have an attitude that you perceive as negative, here's how to replace it. Number one, isolate that attitude in your mind. In other words, identify it. Meditate and learn about a replacement thought. Write down that negative, how it came about, and what the best alternative would be. This whole concept of writing slows your mind down so you can really dig deep into this perspective of having a positive attitude. Number four, pre-plan how you're going to act when people and events don't go your way. And then number five, put your plans into action every day, realizing that repetition drives an energy and it drives a memory, and it creates that concept that I can be positive despite negative circumstances. Now, in summation, let's go back and look at Chuck Swindoll's quote when he said, We all have a choice. Go out and make it a positive choice for you today and see how you react to the world.